Hey everybody, welcome to the beginning of the end on Super Mario Bros. 3. We are in Dark World, World 8, the final stretch of the game. As we tackle King Koopa's forces on our way to Koopa Castle to save Princess Toadstool. Yeah, for a while we don't have numbered stages, we're instead fighting against tanks and... and, uh, shrinking Mario. Yeah, it's just a side-scrolling uh, stage here as Mario fights through uh, Koopa's for forces. On our way to save the princess. There's really no, no specific safe places to really stand and whatnot. You know, there's a lot of heavy firepower. Yeah, we'll be able to at least increase our size. Yeah, this first one isn't quite so bad. They get a little tougher as we progress. We got the rocky wrenches and the tanks. The bomb cannons. Ooh, that was close. Luckily, we only get one rocky wrench per tank thing. Whoa! A massive cannon there, and I jumped way too soon. Wait, what? What the heck? That's, that's crap. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, that could have gotten better. Let's try that again. Alrighty, we're still making some good progress here. This is the round where I died, I think. Yeah, here comes the big one. Here comes the boom. Yeah, okay. That turned out a lot better. And into the pipe. What the? Ah, uh, nuts. Oh well. And here we go, we got a Starman for our troubles there. And that's the first section of uh, Dark World over. Now... Now we're tackling... King Koopa's fleet of ships. As we get blasted by... Uh, We get blasted by the cannons. Let's try that again. There's a really, really easy way of getting through this level I'm going to demonstrate. I'm not even going to go for that. Not worth it. Yeah, these rocky wrenches respawn. I totally failed on that. Okay, well, all I was supposed to do is, uh, well... Alright, I'll show you. You basically could swim underneath the ships by rapidly pressing the A button, or the 2 button on the Wiimote control. This doesn't feel as comfortable as it did back in the day when I was a kid and you can do it again with this ship here. You can totally bypass all the traps. Yeah, see, it's, it's not quite so fun going after all that stuff. So yeah, you just keep rapidly pressing the jump button. <laughs> of the screen is kind of glitchy. Alright, I think this will be Boom Boom. Yeah. Whoa. What? Alrighty, jump there. There we go. It's only been a couple days since I played the 
through world six and seven. This I couldn't I can't possibly be doing this bad already. Yeah, you kinda have to destroy the, the fleet in order to get to uh, the next warp pipe. Whee! Alright, these little places here sometimes will randomly just pick you up and suck you in. And that sounded a lot worse than I meant it to. Guess, guess there's no fireballs there. Yeah, this one's the easy one. Yeah, these three different spaces here, each one gives you a super leaf. Since I'm going to do all levels, I'm going to be doing them all. Here, anyway, this is the the Hammer Brother base stage. Basically every type of Hammer Brother is, in, is featured in this location. From the Fire Bros, and we got Boomerang Brother, and a Sledge Brother. Got him. Patience is key with those guys. And we got another Super Leaf. This third one might be a hassle though. We'll find out. Today! Ah, cheap cheeps! Jumping out of lava. And that's running start, running start. Whew. Alrighty, we made it. And we got another super leaf for our troubles. Alright, this one here is pretty tricky. I'll let you guys see for yourself. It's a high speed airship battle royale. Or something like that. Mario, need you to cooperate with me. Alrighty. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be surprised if I get really quiet during this. It takes a lot of concentration sometimes. I don't know why I keep checking for them. There, take that boom boom. Whew, well that, I made that one look a lot easier than it usually is. I'm actually pleasantly surprised I didn't lose any frames during that. Not that I'm complaining or anything. Alright, moving on. Alright, here we go. World 8-1. This, this world I have a habit of using the power wing in. We'll see. We'll see how well I do trying to play through it normally. Crap. That's... We got bullet bills. Lots and lots of bullet bills. Oh, that's. Whee! No! Boo. And I don't mean the boo that was flying there. I meant the, uh, the bad kind. I should have given myself a power leaf. Oh, should have used one of my super leafs. That was really dumb of me. Alright, I'm gonna refrain from using the power wing for now and go with just a regular super leaf. Because there's actually something way up here. I want to see if I can get enough traction to fly or no. Uh, 
right, you know what? Screw it, I'm, I'm, I'm going all out. I don't want to be here all day. Wee, look at that. Yeah, I got one of my guys back. And you fly up here. You enter this. Get, to, get those extra lives I wasted in the stage back. And we the backward Z cave. We bypass some of the bullet bills that way. Oh, the haphazard uh, jumps and whatnot. Yeah, that was a bit of a cheap thing. I, I'm not particularly proud of making that decision, but I made it and I, li I, I stand by it. It's a good strategy. Is this the one I want to go down? Yeah, it is. Alright, we got ourselves a little secret. There's a pipe down here. Is this the one? Crap. Well, no, that's right, that's right. I think the other one was better. Yeah, the other pipe. There's a pipe. There was a pipe on both sides. The other one would have gotten me, I think, the third power up suit. I think it's the last instance in this entire game where you can get that. Right, there we go. 8 2 is a lot easier than 8 1, by far. 8 1 is like a cruel joke. Yeah, those are just pipes there, and we got our fortress. And this one's kind of a maze. Seems to be a big trend around this point. We got basically this big long room and another big long room on the other side. I don't want to do that. Oops. Yeah, that's. But Raccoon Mario make, makes life getting through here just a little bit easier. I'm going to go through this door. We got to... Yeah, I forget. But yeah, we had uh, Thwomps that moved in diagonals. That doesn't happen very often. Now this one... Nope. It's this one. Yeah, I think this is the one I'm looking for. Nuts. Yeah, alright, we're almost there. Ah, boo. Come on, Flump. Door. Yeah, I forget. Alrighty, here we go. And we're gonna take this door here. Some little Mario. And we got the final instance of Boom Boom in the game. Whoa. Conveyor belts really throw you off there because he actually slides. But yeah, we're making good time in this world. Alright, and let's just see what's over here. Anyway, this is the pipe we want to take, I think. Should be. Eh, maybe it's not. It's not. That basically takes you back to the beginning of the world. I don't even know why it's like that, except to give you a shortcut if you do a new game plus. There it is, our final destination. All that lies before us now is this it's another uh, set of tanks from King Koopa's army. He's got, he's got the bottom half of an airship overhead too.
it's pretty tense at times. You know, these brownish colored uh, rocky wrenches, they have uh, they don't respawn like the lighter colored kind do. Ooh. Alrighty, there we go. Yeah, it's not nearly as difficult as uh, World 8-1, but still playing through it as small Mario is leaves a lot of room for error. A lot of things can go wrong, and we got the ba bombs. Oh no! Yeah. All right, let's try that again. Crap. Alrighty, we're back in business here. Another rocky wrench there. We died right before the end, yet again. Oh, I guess this is the this is the last boom boom in the game. Alrighty. That was the last time we fight Boom Boom in the game, okay. <laughs> and all that's left to do now is Castle Koopa. Wish us luck, guys. It's time time of the save of the princess. Yeah, those statues shoot laser beams out of their eyes. And we got this platform here that gives you a secret path up to the top right. And we got a hot foot. Your roto discs, and we got a one up. Uh oh, crap! I normally don't play this badly. All right, let's try this again. Huh. Again, laser Bowser statues and a donut block. And a pit at the bottom of it, and hot foot, and roto discs, you know, lethal disco balls of light and doom. All right, now we're now we're talking. We got fireballs. Uh, what? Crap. Back with the fireballs. No, 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 no! Why am I sucking today? Is it because I'm tired? Alright, we're back in the fire room again. Alrighty. Let's make ourselves big. Take this donut block down. Crap. All right, and no! <laughs> All righty, this time we're, we're going to avoid the fireballs. Whatever you call them, it starts with a P, I know that much. Alrighty. Then we got another laser statue, but fortunately that, that one... The other statues do not shoot lasers, at least not in this room. There are other places in Bowser's Castle you could take by taking different doors. There's probably other laser shooting statues there, and oh! Nuts. Bad Bowser! Bad Bowser! But that is a precursor to the final battle with the big man himself. Basically, you want to make him uh, destroy the platform beneath him by uh, by jumping and smashing into it. 
I love this battle theme too, it's awesome. Ah, crap. CRAP! Yeah, get that grin off your face, Bowser. I'll meet you guys back at the fight. No! Alright, well, I wound up as small Mario again, but is there any other way to fight Bowser at the end of this game here? Let's try this again, big man. King of the Koopa. Whew, that was close. I right, just have to get him down in there one last time. Alrighty. Alright, big man. Got him! And that is the game! Boom! Take that, Bowser. And that is Super Mario Bros. 3. Not my most glorious playthrough of the game, mind you, but I played through every single level in the game. And it's time for our reward. Somehow Mario got big again. It's the princess. We rescued the princess. Thank you. But our princess is in another castle. Just kidding! Ha ha! Bye bye! And that is all you get for beating the game. Mario didn't even get a cake for beating the, saving that world that time, or saving the princess, I mean. World 1, Grassland! And we got Desert Land here. Yeah, I guess this version of the game didn't have the fancier names for each level. But yeah, that was Super Mario Bros. 3. You know, it's a game that still holds up even today, you know. About 20 years after it came out. Over 20 years by now, I would think. But yeah. Got Skyland there. This game is a true classic, one of the best games ever made, I would I would go so far as to say. You know, I replay it on a on a fairly rarely rare on a fairly frequent basis, once every year, year and a half or so, about the same amount of time as I do in uh, playing uh, the Adventure of Link. Then what you saw at World 7 was uh, the Hammer Brothers suit, which is the third suit Mario gets in the game. We didn't get to see that in the video, but Basically, it's Mario can duck and block fireballs with the shell on his back, and he can throw hammers, much like the Hammer Brothers do. Hence the name Hammer Brothers suit. But yeah, that's the end of the game, and I love this ending theme. It's you know they used to end the old Super Mario Brothers 3 cartoon show with this theme every time the episode was wrapping up. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, I apologize for the frequent amount of death, but maybe that's what you tuned in for, and in that case, you're welcome, I suppose. But, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy what I do next. The rest of Final Fantasy V for now, I guess, and whatever happens after that. Alright.